wraps it up. Conley and Hunt in foul territory. Kayla Hunt takes it. And Alabama are your 2012 SEC Tournament Champions. Well, I think when you give people opportunities, they come through for you. You know, and it was probably uh, out of the box thinking that to put Locke out there, but it's the exact opposite of what they saw on Friday against Tennessee. Uh, Ivy Renfro throws very hard. She's one of the hardest throwers in the country, and Amanda is the exact opposite. And, um, you know, I asked all three coaches on the coaching staff who would they go with, and they all said Locke, and I was, that was my thinking, but we were going to try to go uh, Locke and Leslie, and then if we had to finish with Jackie, Jackie would come in, and, and then Amanda just kept going and going, and, you know, you can't take her out after what she's doing. So the other key side of that was uh, we scored runs for her. And that's a lot of si a side of the game that you, people forget about. You know, they have to stop us. I don't care who's pitching for us. Mm -hmm. They still have to stop us. And I thought our hitters did a great job all day long. Hunt looking for the gap. And that will reach the fence. That will bring in two. Kayla Hunt headed for third. And a bases clearing triple. I think it takes a lot of pressure off the pitcher when you're, you know, the first inning is two to nothing. And then we score, maybe it was six to one. Um, had the home runs, uh, that was big. And, but Amanda looked confident. I don't think she looked nervous. She wasn't flustered at all. I thought she was in complete control. Her pitches moved. Uh, she had her change up going a little bit. Uh, had a couple of good drop balls. So it was, she was kind of all over the zone, but within the zone. And you know, for her to do this on championship Saturday, just, I'm very proud of her. Jen Finn and Bro were great all week. But the other kid that I thought was clutch was Kayla Hunt. And today was another example. She had first and second and no outs in the first inning. Uh, I wasn't gonna bunt her. And uh, she got two strikes on her. She hits the triple in the right center, scores both runs, comes up again, scores another run. Uh, I think she had four RBIs on the day. Um, she's, she's gonna be our three hole hitter probably for the next two years. Uh, and has gotten better and better all season long as a hitter. To have seniors come through the way they did, is incredible. Jazz's three-run home run over the scoreboard. Kendall Dawson hit one over in the, the camera, um, over on the left field line. Just Cassie got an RBI. It's fun to watch them come through in the clutch uh, in probably one of the most important games of the year. Oh, I think there should be a lot of confidence without, throughout the whole team. You know, this is the first time that the host school has actually won the tournament, which is hard to imagine, but it's the first time that happened. Uh, you know, we, we started with the SEC Championship on Sunday against Florida and then ended it with the tournament today. Uh, the fans were awesome all weekend long. I mean, the energy that they brought to us, uh, I wish I could thank each and every one of them, but it was just, it was a great atmosphere for college softball.